Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 20. So we're going to continue our training on the Opportunities applet today, and I'm going to take you into stages and show you how you can customize your pipeline and add checklists to your stages inside of the Opportunities applet. So let's dive in here by clicking on the Opportunities icon. And you'll see the three pipelines and the five phases that we talked about yesterday. Let's go into our listings pipeline and the cultivate phase. You can see that when you open any one of the phases, again, we get the stages within each one of those phases. We have the stage names and again, the likelihood that the deal is going to close based upon the lead or opportunity being at that particular stage. You also have this circle here with a number inside of it. This refers to the custom checklist and you can create checklists for every one of your stages. So to change stage names, stage percentage likelihood to close and to add checklists, you're going to go up to the edit stage button here in the top right hand corner. Once you do, you're going to see each one of your stage names, the order that they are in, and this is left to right probability to close, and then the checklist items. For the cultivate stage, I'll tell you personally, hot nurture and watch don't really work well for my brain. I'm a high C, I'm very analytical. I like numbers and dates and time frames. So for me and my cultivate stages, I've actually gone in and changed each one of these to number-based formulas. So for watch, if you wanted to edit this stage name, you would click on this pencil and change watch and i just put this as 12 months or more not months months or more and honestly when they're this far out i think five percent is a little generous i usually put this at more like three percent and then i can click on save and then you've got nurture i actually change this to six to 12 months and i put that more at like five percent and then in hot I actually have a stage in between here where I say one to six months and that's going to be seven percent save and then if you want to add a stage you can do so just by clicking on this button and I would say 30 days or less and we're going to put a probability there of 10 percent and you can see it even asks what position do you want this at so I'm going to go ahead and click on save and now I have my new stage name so if we go back to the pipeline, you can see that we now have our four stages. Now, some people may want to see 30 days or less first and go 30, then one to six, six to 12, 12 months, basically reverse this order. You can do that by just moving, click and drag each one of these stages and you can reorder them such that they are then left to right versus right to left. So 30 days or less, one to six, six to 12, 12 months or more. Since my pipeline is moving from left to right, I like my shorter dates on the far right. So I'm actually gonna reorder that so that this one is the furthest right. And we'll just, you can see how you can reorder that. So now we have our custom stage names. We have created a new stage. Now let's get into the checklists. So checklists will actually show up when you create the opportunity. We'll take a look at that in a future challenge, how they show on the opportunity. But let's create some checklist items for a new opportunity that comes into the pipeline 12 months or more. So they say, uh, Marty, we're interested, but not until next year. Okay, that's still an intent to do business. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them to my opportunity. What are some things that I'd want to do for a brand new opportunity? All right, so I might put, um, confirm phone number in command, All right? Definitely wanna make sure I have their phone number. I wanna make sure that I have their email address in command. I wanna make sure that I have their mailing address. Confirm home address in command, All right? I want to make sure, let's see if we can source the birthday. And I, at this point, definitely want to make sure add to quarterly call plan. I want to add them to the monthly neighborhood nurture. And I want to make sure that they are on the birthday smart plan if applicable. 
All right. So there we go. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items that are built inside of this checklist for a new opportunity that gets added inside of the cultivate stage for 12 months or more. Now, some may say, well, hey, if they're that far out, do we still need to do quarterly call? I, th I think so, absolutely, right? And when we get into, let's say, we skip ahead and we go to one to six months, right? This might be uh, remove from quarterly call and add to monthly call plan, smart plan, right? So there is a monthly call smart plan that you can find in the library. And maybe because they're getting a little hotter and closer to appointment, I wanna start calling them each month to check in. So you can see now we've got seven items in the 12 months or more. And then we've got you know, two items in one to six months. Maybe if they're 30 days or less from setting an appointment, like, hey, call us next month, we're gonna be ready to list. I might even say add to weekly call smart plan, right? Remove from, and let's watch this, right? So I can put add to weekly, oops, I forgot to do remove from monthly call smart plan. And I want that item to be listed a little bit further ahead. So you can actually switch, remove from, and then add to. So you can just drag these items on your checklist up and down. Now this may seem overwhelming, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, because you've got three pipelines, you have five phases, and you have what could be anywhere from two to four, maybe five custom stages inside of each one. So you're looking at checklists for what could be, I don't know, maybe 30, 40, 50 different stages take your time, build it out over time, right? I would probably, honestly, depending on where you are in your business, if you don't have anyone under contract or anyone actually in your car, <clears throat> you know, showing houses or going on listing appointments, sure, maybe start with Cultivate. Um, however, if you have someone that's actually active or about to go active, maybe you come into active and change these stage names to match your business and then work backwards from there. Also check with your market center leadership, your productivity coach, your market center tech trainer, uh, there's a lot of different varieties of checklists that might be out there as different resources that they might have. Um, obviously, each state does business a little bit differently, so I don't have any that I can share that would make sense for all 50 states. Uh, but ask your local leadership, and they probably have some that might be a good start for you. So that's it for today, guys. Day 20, the ability to create custom stages and then checklists for those custom stages inside of your opportunity pipeline. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.